quick update for me and what's going on in 2020. And let me get a little bit more comfortable. Sorry, you might hear my cat scratching. She just took a poopy. Um, this, wow, you really stink. This is gonna be a quick video because she really smells like shit right now. Um, anyways, I just wanted to make a quick video. Um, I put short clips of a video on LinkedIn, basically talking about you know why I hadn't had a job since I graduated boot camp in July 2018, and how it was January 2020, and. I really just made that video to kind of publicly own up to some of my shortcomings as like a junior developer and a job hunter. But, um, you know, there were some things that I left out or that I just had to leave out because nothing had really happened yet. Um, basically, I've accepted an internship and that will pretty much push back um, my job hunt for a couple of months. So I actually won't pick back up my job hunt again until the end of March or right around my birthday. I'm an April Fool's baby. So pretty much after April 1st, I'll either be asking, you know, whether the internship's gonna give me an offer or not, or I will be back out job hunting. And the reason that I decided to accept an internship uh, is like, I found a place where, you know, throughout the interview process, or let's start from the beginning. Um, I posted to LinkedIn a lot and I got a referral um, for job posting and I actually applied to be a software developer and the company that I'll be interning with is called Axio and they're a startup so basically I had a conversation with eventually is gonna be my boss and um, you know the conversation went well and I think that same day I got to like go into the office and just just meet the people that work there. And um, I don't know how to explain it, but you know, when I walked in, everyone was just very nice, very hospitable. Um, when I came back to take my technical interview, I actually got to sit in on a stand up. So I've had like very good insight to how things work and how things go on here for a long time like throughout the interview process um i got like a lot of transparency into how that works and i think that the team that they have there is pretty amazing and um i had told myself like you know i'm not applying to internships i'm not going to take an internship but at the end of the day <laughs> I'm totally willing to compromise, unfortunately, on what I want because I could really see myself working here. I could really see myself, you know, putting in a considerable amount of work. Um, I could see myself succeeding in the environment. And there are certain things and ways that they work there that really cater to like how I like to work and my personality. Um, you know, for example, like pair programming is a the thing they're pushing there. Uh, they do combine. So it almost seems like no one's really assigned work. Everyone gets to kind of play to their strengths or to their weaknesses if they wanted to. Um, and they're kind of at that tipping point where they still need full stack people, but they're not so big that like you exclusively would only have to work on either side of the stack. And that was really important to me because I do want to stay full stack throughout my career. I really don't want to delve like too deep into either side I always want to have like that freedom that flexibility that mobility to really be like agile and really contribute um, to like all sides of a product um, and that was ultimately why I ended up taking this internship I mean for me personally it's a pretty good deal it is paid I don't know if I'm allowed to disclose what I got paid or not so I won't but what I will say is that like if they were to give me an offer and you know raise the pay uh it would be like pretty much on par with my market value like as a developer um based on what they offered me for this internship um so yeah i think that i, I wouldn't recommend that like boot camp graduates or junior developers or self-taught developers take unpaid internships 
because I think that at the end of the day, you know, this is, we all are living in like finite time. So if this is going to be your career for 10 years, some people would argue that maybe like six months at an unpaid internship would be worth it. Um, I'm always going to argue against it because of my background and the life that I live and, you know, where I came from and who I know. I just, I can't advocate taking an, an unpaid internship. I just can't. But um, I'm excited. <laughs> like, finally, I will be getting into my field. This has really been like an uphill battle. Um, it'll also be nice to take some of the pressure out of the job hunt, even though it'll only be for basically two months. Um, you know, it, it feels good to just be able to focus on just getting better at my craft for, you know, this, this period of time. The internship's up in May, but like I said, um, I'll start, you know, putting feelers out again pretty much around the end of March just to make sure that I don't come up short and have like a gap in unemployment just because I like to transition smoothly. So, uh, yeah, that's why I accepted an internship, even though I went to boot camp. Um, even though I feel like I could fit in in a software developer role somewhere, um, I just, I really like this company. It's in an industry that I never imagined or saw myself in, like in cybersecurity, um, which is also very interesting. You know, that could be like a niche for me that I follow throughout my career. You know, possibly, I'm not totally sure. Um, I also spoke to a recruiter that's like big into the aerospace industry. So, you know, I got a lot of forks in the road, but uh, ultimately, I, I really truly do believe that, you know, the, the skills that I learn here, the work that I do there, the people that I work with there, you know, having access to all of these smart ass people that know what the fuck they're doing um, will really, really, really benefit me. And, you know, in my eyes, this is where I earn my stripes. You know, this is where I'm going to earn these initial stripes as a developer um, working on this product. And I really do believe that I'm going to leave a way better developer than I was when I got there. <laughs> so, yeah, I would say if you're a boot camper and you're job hunting, uh, look into apprenticeships, um, look into paid internships. And, you know, my goal is really to just get a taste of different things, you know. So this internship is from like February to May. Like I can get a taste of what it's like to work in Combine on a cybersecurity product uh, with a very small development team that, you know, utilizes pair programming. So who knows where my next, you know, role may take me. It may be, you know, in a totally different industry with a totally different workflow. Um, and at the end of the day, that's what it's about for me right now. It's just about getting out there, getting outside, um, just just tasting and trying different things because I really don't have any preference yet as to what I like to work on or what languages I like to work with or what frameworks I like to work with. Like I've stuck with the things that I've learned in boot camp and pretty much just built those skills these past couple of years and done you know freelance web design. But um, that was all, you know, for this video pretty much was to just spread hope. You know, there there's definitely hope whether you find a paid internship or an apprenticeship or you get lucky enough to, you know, just get a job. There's enough jobs out there for all of us. Trust me, even if you don't get a job, like in 2022, there will be so many jobs that like if you just did nothing but build your skill set and work on your craft until then, you know, there'll be an abundance of, of tech jobs, like an abundance of developer jobs and not enough developers to fill them. So, you know, the tide is, is rising for us, you know, statistically, the tide is only getting better for us as, you know, junior developers. So I would say that there's no greater time than to be like a junior developer coming up in this this time of abundance i don't know if it'll ever be like this again um so yeah don't lose hope and uh that's pretty much all i got for you in this video if you have any more detailed questions about like you know why i'm doing this or why i accepted the internship feel free to ask and i'll answer to the best of my ability um other than that i'll see you on the next video